Hello guys, Sean Thompson here, welcome back to another video. We are currently up in the Scottish Highlands with a load for Inverness and a load for Aberdeen. Without further ado, let's get in to this week's video. And look at that load. Woo. Oh, yes. I love Volvos. Oh, what a way to start the video. Right, let's have a look at our load. Obviously, we're in our Volvo this week. No problems with that so far, touch wood. But here we have a wee side loader up the neck here, a wee seven and a half ton side loader. Um, quite a nice wee bit of kit, we had a wee bit of problem bringing it up the ramp there because it was touching there. So it should be interesting bringing it off and then we have this fucking brand spanking new S660, 660 V8 that's bound for Inverness. So this is our Inverness load and then this is our Aberdeen load. We've also got a load in Aberdeen to come back down the road but we'll sort that later on. But this thing is bro eh? We've obviously got X straps on since it's the uh, shiny Durabrights. Normally with these kind of lorries I would just hook in there but when it's Durabrights they're always X because, well, <laughs> who puts metal on Durabrights? But it's some truck. I will just have a look inside at the now and uh, fire on up the road. So there's not a whole lot you can see obviously, obviously we've got all the kind of scanny bits, the kind of fold out cable and all that jazz, which I think is cool, I really wish my Volvo had that, that'd be brilliant for editing, just put my laptop on there, but it doesn't so, you know, it's what it is, there's not much you can see, it's all wrapped up, but it's obviously, you know what I mean, the folk that have bought this have spec'd out where we can see the V8 um, seats in there, uh, the V8 badges on all the, the ma uh, ma uh, Whatever you call these, the things that go on the floor. Uh, obviously, in the side thing, it's uh, some bit of kit, uh, some bit of kit. It's a lovely lorry. I, I love Scannies, uh, don't get me wrong. Oh, it's even got a kitchen pack in it. I do, I love Scannies, but I've just always been a Volvo man. Uh. I've just always been a Volvo man. This, the seat. Oh, it's even got the fucking. Does this come out? <laughs> just Stewie's coffee machine. <laughs> oh, but no, I wouldn't do that, don't worry. Uh, bunk beds as well, but this feels a lot lower than mine, eh? I can touch that quite easy. And mine, it's uh, it's not as easy as that. Scanny Inverness. That's that all offloaded and I made a bit of a mistake. Um, basically I've uploaded the wrong video to the YouTube channel. Um, so <laughs> I'm having to quickly upload it. It's not probably going to be up in time to be honest, but uh, one of those things, isn't it? All right, we've got two hours left to complete two hours and 33 minutes. Let's see what's happening. Let's learn that. Thank God you're going the wrong way because you're doing my nut in it. Oh, Katai, here we are. Are we. What, what are we now? An extra two hours up the road. And we've just pulled in here, as you can see. We have, oh, I've already put it on break. We had like 12 minutes of working time, so I've just pulled over. We are 10 miles down the road for the uh, offload of that forklift in the morning. And we've parked in quite a nice wee bit. Not that you can really see much, because it's dark, but looks nice enough. And hopefully in the morning it'll look a hell of a lot better. But anyways, I might grab some sleep. We'll see you all in the morning. Oh, as expected, we obviously slept somewhere gorgeous. That's a lovely view to wake up to, isn't it? That is absolutely cracking. Anyways, quickly get ready and get this offloaded. All right, there she goes. She's all off. We had a wee bit of a problem. The door jammed, so we couldn't get it open, so we had to strip the window. And then halfway through stripping the window, we realised we could press a button um, through the cab with a bit of steel bar. Problem solved. Quick bit of breakfast. We bagel with some raspberry jam. Oh. And then we'll head on and pick up our backload. I good. 
Alright, just pulled into the services for a wee bit of the old diesel and then we'll go pick up this 10 ton duck. I've shaped myself, I've never done one before, but time will tell. We've got an engine bay or whatever it is flapping about all over the place, so we need to pull over. We've got a mile, I hope it I hope it stays for the mile, but we've got a mile and then we'll strap her down. She's there. That was just flat with a mad, so we'll quickly strap that down or fix it or whatever needs done and then go on the way. There we go, that's all sorted. That's not moving for there. I've just quickly checked the other doors. Everything seems okay. Let's go. Alright, we're here, another beautiful, beautiful destination. I'm just sat here waiting for somebody in the car to leave work. Um, they asked me to pull forward so they could get out and then the driver of the car's disappeared. <laughs> so hopefully he comes back soon because I'd quite like this off. Right now I'm just kind of sat here like a spare prick waiting because once I reverse up the lane I'll block the whole thing here. Come on boys. Alright, here's my first time at driving what they call in the business. A duck. I'm assuming it's just like a digger. Sipping on apple pie, moonshine. By the way, best, oh, opposite steering front, best thing I ever got told was uh, obviously GM Parson giving me a sling to begin with, right? Thank you very much for that, I'll never forget that. Um, and George told me that that's how you do buckets because it's just a whole lot easier. Well, anyways, I'm going to go because I'm getting close to my destination. And it's delivered. Jeez, eh, peeps, man. I enjoyed every minute of that. It's windy as anything, man, but look at that for a view. And then that's it all the way up there. Gorgeous, man. Yeah, anyways, we've got a lot of ties up and head for home. Alright, so we've made it back. Now it's time to give the trailer a clean because she's manky Frankie.
And there she is, all clean, Jura Brights, all sparkling. Now, I only ever really uh, give the trailer a clean once a month, so I always try and make sure to give it a proper, proper deep clean. Because it's hard to clean it every week, especially with trying to keep the unit so clean at the same time. But anyways, that is us for today. We're just going to go park it up. And then tomorrow, I, I, um, I've got to send off one of my mates. And then after that, we'll come back up on Saturday and uh, we'll get the lorry all ready for the show this Sunday. All perfect open day. So, I'll see you then. All right, so it is Saturday and we are here back at the yard. It was a wee bit of a late one last night, so we had a little bit of a lie-in, but we had a cracking send-off from our good pal Stuart. Without further ado though, let's get into the auto perfect open day prep. So obviously, as you may have seen, the damage to the headboard, the mirror, and the other mirror, we have a fair bit of work to do. We also have just general cleaning. We have some touch-ups to do from when she got new brakes and calipers from Volvo. Um, both uh, both sides and fronts here as well. They chipped in around this dish. So we've got all that to touch up. Obviously just regular cleaning to do as well. And of course, some just rust touch-ups and all that kind of jazz. Just wee, wee tiny jobs that shouldn't hopefully take too long. So we've done a wee two hours there on the wash, or well, two hours in a minute. Now we've got to go and do the fine detail stuff. Fix all the damages. Aye, good. All right, next job is of course painting the new mirror guard, the third time Ford. Stay away from that, life paint, come on. Down there. Train to whistle that dog, but aye, anyways. That um, wing mirror, we've just uh, sanded it and of course applied plastic primer. We'll come back in an hour and paint that blue. And that's another problem by the way. So, so far we've washed the lorry, we've painted the mirror, we've still got a whack of stuff to do. Not a whole lot of time to do it. <sighs> that's life, eh? Let the side down, boys. I'm just not motivated at all today. Oh, right. <laughs> I'm not in the mood for this today, but it is half seven the next morning. It is Sunday morning, half seven. Now, Sunday is normally a day I have a lie in because I'm always kind of doing stuff Saturday, but Sunday is always my lie in day. Oh, not today, man. Not today. We're up it. Nice and early, obviously I stay in Garvin now, so a nice wee half six rise. It's lovely on a Sunday. Uh, anyways, we're waiting for Sean. He's going to be half an hour late. Um, that's what it is. And uh, aye, just going to go ahead and get the mirror cover out of the paint shop, or the area upstairs we call the paint shop, and then uh, fit it, do a bit of wee touch-ups, and then wait for Sean. That looks bra. Beautiful. All nice. It's actually not a bad job for me doing it, by the way. That's nice and shiny. All right, so this is a wagon that uh, trucker Sean is taking. She's not as up to spec as wise to have her, but she's still pretty goddamn clean. Apart from, I believe, Volvo something there. Last time I went in for a safety, unfortunately, but that's what it is. Can't get too mad about it. I miss cleaning this thing, man. used to be, honestly, it used to be my pride and joy. All right, now we're up at this ungodly height. <laughs> ungodly. <laughs> uh, trying to just fix this. I'm trying to just pop that down so it holds itself. We do have a new one of like these, ordered 175 quid. Absolutely mental, but I'm going to keep this one over winter because um, it is cracked in that. And then when summer comes, new show season, we'll get a new headboard just for that. Because... Um, Running about like that's fine. Like you're not really going to see a difference apart from the duct tape. Um, and I good? Man! <laughs> uh, let's get to the open day. Can you see me? You Can you see me? Can you see me now? Oh, yeah. Can you see me, son? Eh, eh, eh. I don't know. 
Uvula. I see the hair in school. Black cat. Black cat. Black cat. Huh? And an auto perfect bonnet. You got that for free, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah! 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 Now we're furniture shopping, eh? <laughs> Alright, that's us back. Uh, not gonna lie, didn't record a whole lot apart from the drone footage and that. I still, I know it sounds really, really petty or whatever you want to call it, but I fucking honestly really, really, really struggle recording in public, even just talking to folk in public. Eh. Uh, I struggle that as well, like, I never know what to talk about. Sometimes I'm alright, see if somebody comes along and like approaches me with a conversation. I'm gonna pick up for that, but as soon as conversation dies, I'm not gonna lie to you, I get fucking pure. I guess I'm just not a people person. But anyways, that's the show over. Uh, I think Sean or Truck or Sean, whatever you want to call him, Sean Kirkpatrick, had a cracking time. Um, obviously, driving the, the, the van, which was good, helped me out there because I know, uh, well, Hopefully Callum wanted it there. Anyways, all we're gonna do now is when we're cleaning it, I use a wee bit of this kind of stuff that makes it a wee bit greasy. And as you can see, all the dirt just starts sticking to it. Um, so if I just clean it off for now, that means the chassis will stay cleaner for longer. So we're gonna quickly do that now and then uh, put a wee bit of ceramic coating on it while it's all nice and clean. And then, uh, by the road. All right, then we've go, we've washed it all off and then we've put the ceramic coating back on so we get that nice beading effect on all of the paintwork. Well, that's the wrong way. Cheers, GoPro. Anyways, that is it for this video. I hope it was all right. I do apologize. I feel like lately my videos have gone downhill a bit. Um, I don't know what it is, but I just, I, I, it's how I feel personally. But anyways, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. And we'll see you next week when we tackle another week on the road. Feels pure weird holding you like this. Love you, bye.